Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain to you motor direction when looking at a starter motor like this, a DC starter motor on a car or motorbike. So when you look at these type of motors online, some manufacturers specify the rotor direction or the rotation which is CW or CCW, so in this case it's clockwise. And when you look at the photos online, clockwise can be interpreted in two ways. And I'll explain that now. It can be clockwise this way, or it can be clockwise this way. So, so this is the problem you, you may encounter. You don't know which way they're talking about when they're saying clockwise or counterclockwise. It's not specified apart from just on the wording here. So on these industrial motors here, these huge ones, usually they will specify clockwise lead end or shaft end. And they'll usually have a code like this. So this means counterclockwise lead end. So what that means is on the motor, this is the lead end and this is the shaft end. This is the diagram to decipher motor direction. So shaft end, lead end. If this is specified on your motor, it's very easy to get a replacement and understand which direction, understand which direction your machine requires. But in the case of these small motors for bikes, it doesn't specify lead end or shaft end as the professional industrial motors do. So I'll take you back to the bench and I'll explain to you on this motor how to understand motor direction. So as I showed you on this website it says CW. So that's this motor here and CW means clockwise. So when I spin the motor, power up the motor, positive negative, on the DC motor it's going to spin clockwise looking at it from this direction. If I turn the motor around this way and put power to it, it's going to spin anti-clockwise. It will spin in this direction. So just take note of this arrow, the motor spinning this way and now I'm gonna flip it over and all of a sudden it's spinning this way. I've not touched anything apart from turning the motor around. The power so the motor is identical, the same, it's not reversed or anything, so positive, negative. If I power it up, it's spinning this way, clockwise, looking at it from this direction. Turn it around, same power is going to it, it's spinning, clockwise looking at it from this direction, and from this direction, it's anti-clockwise. So that's one thing you can get caught out while ordering a motor online. So as I explained, in the video just now on professional motors industrial motors they will specify lead end shaft end but on these smaller motors the manufacturers don't do that so be careful when ordering your motor so this is something you will see on the website CW and on professional motors or you may get lucky it will say something like this so that specifies lead end so this code means counterclockwise lead end so from this direction, it's going to spin counterclockwise. Which in turn, if you reverse it around, like I said, it's going to be clockwise. So this is the codes for the motors. You can pause the video here. Pause the video now if you need to refer back to this chart. So on these DC motors, some of you all might be thinking you can just change the polarity around. So this is positive usually and this is negative and you can turn that around and the motor will spin in the opposite direction. But the problem is this is on a motorbike. So the, the engine is negative, which is grounding. And then this is positive. So on a motorbike and on a car with a 12 volt system, you usually cannot reverse it around unless you actually for another application. And when we're talking about industrial motors, you can reverse the polarity and direction with single phase and three phase, but we won't get into all that um, in today's video. So just to recap, on these 
uh, motorbike motors, whenever they say clockwise or counterclockwise, they're usually referring to looking at it front on, which is shaft end. So looking at the motor from this way, this one spins clockwise, and this is another motor I had which spins counterclockwise. So counterclockwise, looking at it front on. And of course you would order your new motor based on your engine direction or if you know which direction your old motor would stop working spinned in. So I hope this helped you all and gave you all some insight on how to read motors. Don't forget to like and comment down below which country you're watching from. Thanks.